Welcome to Spruce Peak Arts offstage birthday celebration for Ava. We are so delighted to share with you a Zoom birthday party celebration with a birthday fairy tale snowy pig mashup. And let the story begin. Our story takes place in the country and we find friends, Twiggy, Connie, and Snowy talking about their home. Oh, I just love my little cottage in the woods. You do have a sweet little setup there in the woods. If we could all be so lucky to have a place with woodland creatures to help us keep it clean. I know they are very kind to me and help me out. But what about you guys? I know you guys are building new Homes, how is the construction going? My house is just about done. I put together a bunch of sticks and stacked them all up. They will provide just enough space for me to live in. Well, well, I have been working day and night and I am almost done. Each brick took forever to lay down and get into place. Gee, it sounds like you each have a good setup. That works best for you. Have if that works best for you. H have you heard of any news on the evil queen? Is she still hunting for me? I've been too busy working on my house. I have no idea what is happening in the rest of the world. This is my first break in days. Well, I heard she is still miserable because Mirror Mirror knows you are alive and much be better than her. Meanwhile, back in the palace, the evil queen is meeting with the big bad wolf known as BBW. Hey there, BBW. I have a deal for you. Go Find Fair One Snowy, and I will give you a feast of pigs. Really? That would be so awesome. I would love me some pig. What do you want me to do? Go into the forest and see if you can locate Snowy. Once you find her, kill her, and then I will lead you to the port. BBW took off into the woods to look for Snowy. Fortunately for BBW, she came across a building development that the pigs live in. Well, looky here. I found the pork all on my own. Look, it's Twiggy's house. Hey there, Twiggy, let me in. Go away, you big bad wolf. I will never let you in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <gasps> what? Do I have hair on my chin? Yikes. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow that house in. Oh no, I better run to Connie's house. My sticks won't stand up to the BBW. Who's at my door? It's me, Twiggy, let me in. The BBW is after me. Come in. Snowy is helping helping me with the final touches to my house. We are good and safe in here. Hey there, piggies. Let me in. No way. You go away, you big bad wolf. Well, well, well. Is that Snowy in there? What's it to you? Just my lucky day. I just need a moment with you, Snowy, and then I will get you to you, piggies. Are you kidding me? Go away, BBW.
The big bad wolf was not going to let the feast of Snowy and the three little pigs get away from her. She was not. She was trying to figure out how to get in. I'm going to huff and puff and blow this house in. You just try it, BBW. You won't get in here. You, Connie was right. BBW was not going to get in. So, so instead, decided to climb up the roof and come in the chimney. Snowy was watching BBW through the window and saw him climbing up a tree to get to the roof. Quick, build a fire. Use some sticks from Twiggy, Twiggy to get it going. Good thinking, Snowy. We will put in a pot of water and make ourselves some a BBW soup. They made a fire and had a hot pot of water ready for BBW to fall into, which she did. While all of this was happening, the evil queen was using Mirror Mirror to follow the big bad wolf, and she saw what, what was happening. Oh. Oh, it figures. I sent out the BBW to do this job and only to have him flump it up. No one seems to be able to get that girl. There must be some way. So she disguises herself as an old witch with poisonous apples and shows up at Connie's door. I've heard about this apple seller. Let us invite her to eat BBW soup and make her an ap appleberry pie with her apples. But don't eat any as tempting as they seem. We will tell her it is berry pie and, and save the apples for later. Come on in. We are just having supper. Please come join, join us. I would love to have some apples to share with my friends. That the queen died by her own apples and the pigs and Snowy lived happily ever after. The end. Are you one? Are you two? Are you seven? Are you eight? Are you nine?